Hey guys, and welcome to Debrecen, Hungary. We're here in Hungary's second largest city for a week. And if you're just tuning into our channel, Hungary is our ninth country that we have visited since we quit our jobs in June to travel the world. The past two months have been some of the happiest and most exciting times of our lives. We've traveled over 8,000 miles since leaving our home in San Diego, California, starting our journey with an unexpected 24-hour layover in Stockholm. After that, we flew to Croatia and started making our way by bus and train through the Balkans. We saw some of the most beautiful waterfalls in the world in Croatia, then traveled to Bosnia, where we got to go whitewater rafting on the Neretva River. After that, we explored Montenegro and even got to go spelunking in a creepy cave in Albania. In North Macedonia, we ate so much food we could barely walk. Then we explored Bulgaria and spent nearly a month making our way through Romania. And that brings us to now, in our ninth country, Hungary. We are here in Debrecen for a week, and there is actually a special occasion that's going on here, which is the Flower Carnival. It's one of the largest cultural events in all of Hungary, and this year is actually the 50th anniversary of the festival starting, so we're super excited that we get to come during this momentous year. Basically, throughout the course of the week, there's all sorts of different types of events for the festival, and so we'll be taking you guys along over the course of a week and kind of checking out different events that sound great to us and the event kind of comes to a close on St. Stephen's Day, which is sort of like the 4th of July or Independence Day in Hungary. Unfortunately, we won't be here for the festival for that because we will be in Budapest, but there are some super cool events that we're gonna check out while we are here. The first event that we're checking out is today in the Great Forest Park, and that's where we are now. So this is pretty cool. This portion of the festival is called the Galiba Children's Festival um, and it takes place in the Great Forest Park. They've got like games, music, vendors. Looks like they have a restaurant over here. Um, so there's just plenty of stuff to do. And obviously we are not children, but it was supposed to be one of the coolest parts of the festival today. So we decided to come and check it out. And I'm glad we did because there's definitely plenty of stuff for adults to do too. Right next to the Children's Festival is the Czech Beer Garden, which is another cool part of the festival that I read about. Unfortunately, we're not drinking this month, which is so hard because I really want a beer. But I'm happy just walking through this and checking out all the cool vendors they have. Yeah, me too. Some of the food smells really, really good so too. Good. You had no idea what's going on. This could be super happy or super sad or a comedy or a tragedy. Really have no idea. <laughs> it's entirely in Hungarian and the kids seem to be enjoying it, but we're just like, I don't know, there's guys on stilts. It looks cool. I was gonna say, I'm entertained. Like I'm having a good time watching this. We're like 15 years too old to be at this event, but we are here enjoying <laughs> ourselves nonetheless. Carrot kind I get? No, just as long as you get sprinkles on it. I'll get sprinkles, honey. Thank you. Look how pretty it is. It's beautiful. What do we have? It is chocolate, mango, and of course, like you requested, sprinkles. Love it. Thank Once you. The fell on me. Can I eat them? Yeah. Mmm, they're crunchy. Cool. Let's go. We're gonna head downtown. Explore the sites a little bit down there, and we'll check in with you guys again tomorrow. That part of the festival was cool, but I'm definitely looking forward to tomorrow more because there's supposed to be Cuban dancing in one of the squares, so that'll be fun. guys, it is now the next night and it is Friday night here in Debrecen and so this is kind of when the festival is supposed to start heating up. There are a lot of cool events tonight that we've been looking forward to all week. So we are in the city center now 
And we're just gonna kind of go walk around and see what's going on. Yeah, we already hear music and stuff going on, so I'm really excited to see everything that's happening tonight. Let's go! Well, that was cool. We just kind of stumbled into a Hungarian wedding that was going on in the church that was right behind the opera. And we got to see the bride at the Herbique, which was cool. Um, but now we have a little bit of time to kill before the Cuban dancing slash music is supposed to start. So we're gonna go and explore a little and see what else is going on. Oh my god, look how cute these little things are. We found this little handicraft fair going on and it's super cool. There's a bunch of stands. They have everything from like lemon juicers to books and snacks. And, and candy. And candy. Don't can't forget the candy. Can't forget about the candy. But it's super cool. This is a great little area here. We are also right behind the opera stage so we can yeah. still hear it all going on as we walk through and shop, which is kind of cool. It's chow time. Yeah, let's dig in. We got a hamburger, some fries that look like they have beef and peas on them, and then this salad has tomatoes and onion, kind of like a grease salad with feta cheese and other stuff, so let's dig in. Oh, you guys, that dinner was so good. We just walked by that restaurant and it looked really good. And so we pulled up Google reviews and it turns out it had fantastic reviews. So I'm still not 100% sure the names of what we ordered, but I assure you the food was amazing. And now that we're all filled up, it is time finally to go check out some Cuban dancing. Let's go. I don't think anyone like. I want to dance. That was so fun. I have not danced like that in a long time and I did not think I would be doing any kind of Latin dancing until we were in South America, which is why it's so funny that we just Cuban danced in Hungary. But that was obviously my favorite part of the festival so far. It was so fun. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough event to beat, but so fun, so cool. Hey guys, it's the next night now, and before we head off to the festivities, we're just gonna go grab a quick bite to eat. But I can already hear music, so I think it'll be another fun night. All right guys, our food just came out and we ordered something that we normally don't, but we're trying out some vegan food. So we have a vegan burger and some vegan pizza, and we're about to dig in. So dinner was absolutely delicious, and throughout our meal, we kept hearing music from next door, and it turns out that that's where we're going. So we inadvertently picked a restaurant that was right next door to the music venue. So we're just wrapping up now, and Jack is paying, and then we're gonna head over and listen to some awesome music. So glad that we got to go and see some of that dancing. I think they had kids like of all ages in different costumes doing it, um, but we couldn't really see over the crowd of people. So we decided that since there's Cuban dancing again tonight, we had so much fun last 
last night. We're gonna go Cuban dance for a little bit, but then I promise we'll go check something else out. Inadvertently walked in on a, a dance party as we make our way to the Cuban dance party. Listening to Christmas music in the YMCA. <laughs> yeah, and it really is a party in Debrecen tonight. So guys, that wasn't nearly as cool as it was last night because last night they had people teaching us how to dance and it was just so much more energetic and the band tonight kept stopping and so now we're gonna head up to the park because apparently there's a few cool events going on up there and we're excited to check those out. Guys, we just made it into the park and there's all these super cool lit up flowers all over the place. And it's so cool being out here at night. We're gonna run around and check them all out now. There's a bunch, they're all over the place. This is so cool. It is hard to believe that this is the same Czech beer garden that we were at two days ago and there was like no people here because right now it is packed. Yeah, it's slammed. There's a ton of people here and like all the vendors are selling stuff and it just smells so good. This place is really, really cool. It is happening right now. We've seen people buying desserts. Everybody's got a drink in their hand. They've got like a slushy stand and there's just people everywhere. This is so cool. Wow, you guys, that light show was so cool. The patterns, the designs, the music, it was so cool and trippy. I loved every minute of it. Yeah, it was like so colorful. Every time I thought they did the coolest thing, the screen would light up with another pattern. I'd be like, whoa, and I kept like tapping, tapping, <laughs> being like, babe, did you see that? It was um, such a creative way to use the building as a prop. Yeah, it was so, so cool. And the perfect way to end our time at the Flower Festival because tomorrow we are off to Budapest. And so unfortunately we're not gonna be able to catch the big parade on St. Stephen's Day here. But we are going to be having a pretty cool day in Budapest celebrating St. Stephen's Day. So make sure to watch out for that video. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and share this video. And thank you again for watching. Thank you.